So how is the cheapest classical guitar from Harley Benton? Welcome back to The Mix, I'm ABD. Today we're reviewing the CG200CE BK from Harley Benton, which is the cheapest classical guitar that they sell on their website. And it is made out of basswood, basswood, so it's very light. And uh, basswood is probably not the best tone wood. Um, there's definitely better options, obviously mahogany, spruce, sitka, and maybe even some others, but basswood is just not my favorite tone wood. But maybe it could sound okay in a guitar. Definitely for the price, it's like 60 bucks. It might be worth it, but then plus shipping and everything to get it to the US, which is usually another 80 bucks, maybe it's not so much worth it. It is an acoustic electric. It has a pickup system, a piazzo, piezo type thing, and a battery compartment. And it has a plastic nut, which is um, okay. It's not cut maybe that well. It's definitely not lubricated. You might want to put some graphite or some lubrication in the saddles because when tuning, there's a ton of pinging. Really, really bad. The strings are held way too tight in the nut. So maybe it could have been cut better. Maybe it could be lubricated better. You could obviously work on that yourself. On the back, you have tuners, or on the sides really. You have tuners, the vintage type, and they're okay, they're not very good. They tend to fall out of tune. The strings will go flat. And uh, the overall construction is just not great. The finish is really cheap and really thin and a fingerprint magnet. And the button straps and everything like that are cheap and not very nice. The frets are nickel. They're like a, a gold nickel. They're very small and thin and the fretboard is very wide because like a classical guitar it has a wider fretboard and a flatter fretboard the radius is 650 millimeters which i think is like 20 or 21 so very 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 flat the neck surprisingly is nato it is not the base wood like the body is it has 19 frets so not as many frets as a normal acoustic guitar it is a shorter kind of scale length and the nut width is 52 millimeters so very very wide up here and even wider down here and then the other thing is that the fretboard is maple, but it doesn't look like maple, you might say. That's because it's rosacea, which is like a baked kind of dyed maple that gets very dark, and uh, it doesn't feel very good. I'm not a big fan of rosacea, but Harley Benton likes to put it on a number of their cheaper guitars, and I uh, see why it's cheap, because it does not feel good. It looks okay, but it doesn't look great. It reminds me of the composite wood fretboards that we used to do on some guitars where you would kind of get a number of different woods, put them together, make them into a fretboard and then laminate it in a way to look like a piece of wood. But here you just have maple that is dyed to be like rosacea. And then obviously nylon strings because it is a classical guitar. You have your standard strings up here and then three nylon strings up here. And so how does it sound? Acoustically, uh, not super great. Again, because it's bass wood. It's lacking a lot of low end. There's really no bass. And uh, for bass wood, there's really no bass. And uh, the mids, are kind of scooped in a way that don't sound very good. It's just not the best tone wood. So again, it's very kind of, it's not very loud either. It's a smaller body, but it doesn't project very well. And um, it's kind of muffled and muddy. It's not terrible. It's definitely not terrible. If it's your first classical guitar, maybe for a student or a child, it's pretty good. Of armor and hair with ivory skin and eyes of them. 
in my man And so it uh, it sounds okay. You can definitely make it work if you need to. Again, if you're learning on it, it's not too bad. Maybe you can replace the tuners and you can definitely polish up the fretboard. There's really no dead notes, which is good. And so yeah, that was a demo of it through a microphone, a condenser microphone. Now we can plug it in to hear what it sounds DI through an interface with simulated amp tones. And then we can wrap it up. Thank you for watching. So there you go, what did you think? We demoed it acoustically through a condenser mic and then digitally through a DAW and simulated amps. And uh, it sounds pretty good, especially through like simulated amp tones. You can definitely make it work. Like I said, if you're a student, it's not too bad. But if you're intermediate or uh, more professional, you're definitely better off spending more money. Even though it's a best-selling classical guitar, on Toman, there are better options. Yamaha actually makes a good option for it, just a little more money, not that much more. So maybe check those out. What did you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and until next time, play guitar, play classical guitar, and keep it spicy.